I'm a health coach that works at home. And one thing that I think is super helpful for me to stay focused with my work and just to feel good from working at home and not getting out of the house that much. I do train clients in person two days, but it's getting ready and putting my makeup on and doing my hair, even when I'm just staying at home. Um, something else that's helpful is walking on my walking pad. But besides that, it's getting ready, putting my makeup on. That's something that I love to do. I don't have to have like my hair fixed always, but I do love putting my makeup on. That makes me feel put together. It makes me more productive. So if you stay at home, I think that that's really helpful to do something that makes you feel good about your appearance, whether that's your hair, changing your clothes, whatever it may be just do it. Just put on the makeup. It's okay. Even if you're going to the gym, put on the makeup. I'm a makeup girl. I like to wear makeup to the gym. I don't necessarily love to go to the gym without makeup. I feel like I don't lift as heavy. I feel like I don't just have confidence in what I'm doing. So put the makeup on. I feel good about it. It's okay. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Because if they're worried about you, then they're not worried about their workout. So put the makeup on. I'm going to be doing some client check-ins today and then after that I'm going to take Braylon to hitting lessons. She has hitting lessons every week so we're going to go to softball practice and then we will come back home and I'll do some more work, do some social media content. It was my goal today to get a bunch of social media content filmed and normally I wouldn't even do that if I don't like put my makeup on just because that's how I am and I like putting my makeup on but yeah so we got a lot of content done today we got softball lessons done we're gonna get our workout in my husband and i are lifting a full body program monday wednesday friday that's what works for us if we miss a day we're still getting upper body twice a week and lower body twice a week so it works really well for our busy schedule right now i think that's something that's huge when it comes to finding your lifting program is what does your life allow you to stick to because if you're a mom and you have kids that are in sports it's it's easier said than done to say like everybody has the same 24 hours because it's literally not the same. Um, but so find what works for you. If you can't go to the gym four or five days a week, then that's totally fine because I can't either right now. Um, I used to and that's okay because it worked in that time of my life, but right now it's not. So main thing is, is how many times are you lifting that muscle group in a week? Ideally, we want to do two times. So if you can get two full body days, that would be great. If you can get three full body days, that's great. Also, I think that that's super easy and helpful for me is to get three full body days in and then walk. And the rest of my days, I am trying to do a little bit of cardio, like one or two days here and there. My husband and I have bikes, so we'll ride our bikes in the evening time or we'll go to the gym and do like the Stairmaster or push the sled or something like that. Nothing crazy intense. I hate to run. I'm not a runner. I don't want to run. So I don't. So do what you love. Do what you enjoy. Do what's going to help you and be beneficial for you. Um, learn from someone like me. You need to lift weights. You don't need to just do cardio. Like I said, I lift more weights than I do cardio. So I think that's important to understand that you need muscle mass on your body. And from that, we will lose more fat over time, burn more calories over time when we have more muscle mass on our body. Plus we'll live a long, healthy lifestyle or a healthy life. I'm 40 and I'm getting older. And I know when I, well, I am a grandma. If y'all don't know, I'm a grandma, y'all. Um, and I want to be able to play with my grandkids and I want to be able to be strong and not be frail and not